If you have a moment, please go subscribe to my second channel. Link to that channel will be in the description down below. I'll be posting all of my jump shot, dribble tutorial, build videos, and all that on that second channel. Please check it out if you have a moment. Much love. In this video, I'm about to shout out, boys, the best working NBA 2K22 incident badge glitch that you guys can take advantage of to get your badges, my points, and even VC extremely fast. But this is mainly for badges. This also will help you get your rep as well to hit level 40. So yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys everything that you need in order to do this glitch. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, man, turn on plus notifications, and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. This glitch will work on current players that you already have, and this glitch will also work on new players. Just make sure that if you guys are looking to make a brand new build, make sure that you do the rebirth quest and use your rebirth when you make your new player. A lot of pe people ask me how to get the rebirth, so I'm gonna show you guys in this video, but you guys can see if I wanted to make a brand new player, it'll ask me right here, would you like to create this save, this save as a rebirth player? And it gives you 20 badge points, plus it gives you your first 10 mob points, which starts you out at a 90. So make sure if you're making a new player that you do the rebirth to speed up your grind. All right, man, so to do the rebirth quest, you guys wanna go to the 5v5 court, and then you wanna talk to this lady right here. Generally, if you never talked to this lady before, you'll have to talk to her twice, and she'll give you the rebirth quest option. And to complete the rebirth quest, all you want to do is I believe you have to play 10 mob part games. And that's just for all my new players or anyone who's asking me how to get rebirth. But you guys can see that when you do, whenever you use it, whenever you use your rebirth, that you have all these badges that you can go ahead and equip. And then you guys will also see that you can get your player to a 90 overall. So yeah, man, make sure you use your rebirth if you're looking to make a new player. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the glitch. So to actually do this glitch, you guys are gonna need a, a couple of things. First thing that you guys wanna do is go over the pro -Am, and then you guys wanna go ahead and create a new team. Like I said, the team name is not really gonna matter. All right, so look, after you guys pick a name, and then you guys can go ahead and hit complete. You can change your team colors, whatever the case may be, but you wanna make sure that you have a Pro-Am team that you just made. Now listen, after you guys make your Pro-Am team, you guys can hit keep changes and exit, and you're gonna need at least five other people to do this glitch with you. So you need to have two people on your team, and then you need to have another full team of three on a different Pro-Am team to do this glitch. So after you guys get all the people that you need to do the to do this glitch with, you guys want to go ahead and load into the 3v3 program arena. Now, once you guys get into the 3v3 Pro Am Arena, make sure that the other team is also in the Pro Am Arena. And then if you press select, you guys can change the game mode to three or five private match. You guys wanna make sure that you do a 3v3 private match. And then whenever you ready up, make sure everyone readies up and then you, got, and then you guys want to just make a code. So you can make the code red, 2K, you can make it boosting, glitching, Whatever the case may be, just make sure that you guys go ahead and type in a code. Make sure that the other team also types in the code as well. And also make sure that the other team puts a game mode on private as well. You want to make sure that both teams enter the code. And then that will put you guys in a private server where you're able to do this glitch. One thing that I forgot to mention, also if you need people to do this glitch with you, then comment down below whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation and just help each other out. And yeah, man, you guys get together and do this glitch as well. But yeah, man, I know that I had to blur out this part of the video, but you guys will see the bash progression after this game is over with and I sped up this game 
as well. I just didn't want to show any gamer tags because you know how 2K can be sometimes when it comes to betting people. But yeah, man, you want to do the private 3v3 pro on Bad Witch. And whenever you do this, you're going to be able to get your badges extremely fast. You'll be racking up VC. You'll be getting your mob points. You'll also be getting your rep as well. Now, listen, when people do this private pro on Bad Witch, what they basically do is just everyone takes turns going for whatever badge that, that you need. You're basically boosting. So, you know, they'll come down the court, they'll throw a lob or they'll drop the corner. Generally, the other team won't play defense and you guys just take turns working on whatever badge that you need. So you can throw lobs, you can spot up and get dotted corner. If you're going for shooting, if you're going for finishing, you can catch lobs and yeah, whatever the case, may be and you want to make sure that you go all the way to 25 it doesn't matter who wins or loses but the game will end no matter what at 25 so you want to make sure that you you know use every point possible to get as much batch progression and all that but yeah man you can also do this glitch while you have double xp tokens pop as well so if you have Oh, if you do the double XP token glitch or whatever that's on my channel, you guys can pop unlimited amount of double tokens and you'll always have double rep while doing this glitch. So yeah, man, the only thing that you guys need is you just need the people to do this with you. So surely you can find people to do this glitch with you. You guys can see the best progression, your VC, your mob points and all that. But yeah, man, this is another game that I added to this. And I'm currently working on a brand new player that I just made. And as of right now, this is by far the best way to get all of your badges. You just want to make sure that you, like I said, you guys just take turns going for whatever badge that you need. So every time that you're on offense, somebody should be either catching a lob, throwing a lob, or dotting corner if you need your shooting badges or whatever the case may be and then I'm sure you can also work on defensive badges by grabbing rebounds whenever there's a miss wide open shot or whatever the case may be but you can literally do this glitch and get your badges maxed out extremely fast the fastest way to get your playmaking of course is to just throw as many lobs as possible as far as shooting goes you should be able to get your shooting badges extremely fast if you're able to spot up corner and then if you're going for finishing then you just want to catch as many lobs as possible take turns and then once the game is over with you got just repeat and rinse and keep doing this over and over again until you get the badges that you need or whatever the case may be so yeah man this is what people be doing to hit level 40 extremely fast but this is also what people be doing to get their badges extremely fast as well on new players that they just made. And these games go by extremely fast and you're racking up VC. It's been your boy JR. Drop a drop a sub. We out.